Hi, welcome to another video. So Google has done it again by dropping another game changer tool called Opal. And let me tell you, this is not just another flashy tech toy. It's a completely new way to think about building applications with AI. We are talking about an AI app builder that lets you create and share your very own AI powered mini apps, all without writing a single line of code. So what is Opal? Think of it as a bridge between your ideas and functional AI applications. You know how sometimes you have a great concept for an app, but then you get stuck in the technical side, like needing to know a programming language or understanding complex AI models. Well, Opal basically says, forget all that, it uses natural language, meaning you can just describe what you want to build using everyday words. Now, if you have ever worked with automation tools like N8N or Langflow, you might recognize the interface. Opal features a clean drag and drop node interface. It's super intuitive, making it a breeze to design the flow and interactions of your mini apps. But here is where it truly stands out. Unlike these other tools where you often have to manually wire things up or even write some code, Opal can auto-generate functional workflows based on your descriptions. This is a game changer for anyone who is not a seasoned developer but want to harness the power of AI. So whether you are aiming to create simple utility apps or even set up logics for more complex AI agents in the future, Opal offers a level of flexibility that's really impressive for non-technical creators. So let's break down how this magic happens. Imagine you want to create a blog post writer. In a traditional setup, you might need to understand how to integrate different AI models for research, text generation, and even image generations. With Opal, you can simply describe the desired outcomes. You would say something like, I want an app that research a topic, write an outline, generate a banner image, create the blog post, and then displays everything. Opal takes that natural language input and visually builds the workflow for you. So this is the overall how Opal works for you. If you see here, first you can start Opal by signing in with your Google account. It's a straightforward process to get into the platform. You are presented with a choice. Do you want to create a new app from scratch or do you want to use a template from the gallery? If you decide to create a new app, the next step is truly revolutionary. You can just describe your desired app in natural language. From there, Opal works its magic and auto-generates the workflows. And similarly, if you want to use a template, you can simply select a template from Google's extensive demo gallery. Then you will see the visual workflows. This is where you can review and edit nodes. Each node represents a step in your app's process. You can also adjust the prompts within each node to fine-tune the AI's behavior. Then finally, if you are satisfied with how everything looks, you can move on to the test app. And after that, you have the option to share the app link with others. Now let's actually jump in and see it in action. You will need to head over to the Google Opal website. Remember as of now, it's in public beta and for the most part, it's accessible within the United States. If you are in that region, you should be able to sign right in. If you are not from the United States, you have to wait for it to launch in your region or you can use temporarily VPN to access it from the United States. After sign in, you will see the dashboard of Opal. It's a clean and intuitive space. There is where you manage your apps. Also, you can see all the apps you have already created. And then there is a crucial section for the gallery. This gallery is a collection of templates that Google has pre-built. It's an excellent starting point, especially if you are new to this or just want to explore. You will find templates for all sorts of things like social media posts, web pages, or even the blog post writer. Let's try to use one of these templates first. Let's pick something practical like the blog post writer. You will see a button that says Remix. When you click Remix, Opal takes a few moments to load up the template within its builder interface. This essentially creates a copy for you to play with, so you don't mess up the original. Once it loads, you will immediately see the node workflow. This is that drag and drop interface. Each box or node represents a specific step in the app's process. For this blog post writer, you will likely see node for things like user input, where you provide information, then node for the AI to generate the post. Now to actually use this remixed app, you will see a preview section or a start button. Let's click start. Opal start working. You will see little indicators showing that AI is processing your request. 
and just like that in a few seconds it generate a complete post for you you can also switch over to the console view within the interface this is where you can actually see what the ai was doing behind the scenes like which model it used for specific task for example it used gemini 2.5 it gives you a little peek under the hood which is pretty cool i guess now using templates is fantastic for quick start but where opal truly shine is when you create something from the scratch let's go back to the main dashboard and look for a create new button when you click that it prompt you to describe what you want to build this is where your natural language skills come into play so let's try an example how about something for content create I will type in a prompt like I want to create an app that generate unique video ideas for my YouTube channel based on current trends and audience interest then I will hit enter what happen next is truly impressive instead of me manually placing down individual nodes and connecting them which we usually do with any other automation tools like n10 or make.com Opal analyzes my request and automatically generate the entire workflow. I don't have to manually integrate any node or any functionality. It quickly determines the necessary steps so you will see nodes appear to perform different things. It maps out the entire journey for you simply based on your description. Once the workflow is generated, you can then interact with your newly created app just like with the template. You will see a preview or start button. Click that then inputting the required data it will present you with the final result this flexibility combines with the ease of natural language input is what make opal such a powerful tool for creators of all levels so once you have built an app you are happy with whether it's from the template or from scratch you will want to share it opal makes this very simple there is a share button available when you click on it opal generate a shareable link you can send this link to anyone and they can then run your app directly in their browser it's fantastic way to showcase your work collaborate with others or even deploy a simple utility tool for your team or clients so as you can see google opal is not just about fancy ai it's all about making the power of ai accessible and easy to use for everyone from quickly remixing the templates to building complex workflows with just natural language it really empowers you to create custom ai powered tools without getting any tricky knowledge or experience it's a significant step toward the ai development and i am really excited to see what people will build with it as it evolves while opal is currently available in public beta and seems to be primarily available in the united states but google is clearly investing in making ai accessible to everyone not just for developers the fact that you can build ai agents and mini apps with natural language and a visual interface all for free is a huge step forward i truly believe that tools like opal are going to empower ai development it removes so many barriers allowing anyone with an idea to bring it into life without needing to learn complex programming languages or deep technical concepts it's an exciting time to build with ai and opal is definitely a tool that you would want to keep an eye on and maybe even try out yourself if you are in a region where it is available So what kind of AI mini apps are you dreaming of building with Opal? Let me know in comments. So that's it from the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one.